Hello, my name's Lynn, Lynn Nickerson, and I run the Decock Girls School Science Club. And I'm going to show you how to do one of our favourite activities, which is making your own geodes out of eggshells, plaster of Paris, alum, and possibly some food colouring as well. So here's some that I've already made. You can see they represent real geodes, but they're made out of eggshells and you're going to grow the crystals inside them and hopefully they'll look like this or even better. So what do you need? You're going to need some eggshells that have been washed and dried. You'll need some plaster of Paris. You'll also need some alum or potassium aluminium sulphate. You're going to do the activity using disposable cups because it just um, prevents the cups and glasses that you care about getting um, contaminated. And some disposable things to do the mixing of the plaster of Paris. Um, lollipop sticks are good or you can use a plastic spoon. You'll also need a bowl or something that you're going to make as a water bath and some warm water and it might be a little easier if you use a jug for that and also you can choose to use some food colouring if you wish for the final stage. So the first stage is to make a layer of plaster of Paris that we're going to fill the eggshell with. So take your eggshells, break off any little loose pieces like this one here. And then you're going to mix up some plaster of Paris that we're going to put inside the eggshells. So for one eggshell, you're going to need about a teaspoonful of plaster of Paris. I've got two eggshells. I'm going to use two teaspoonfuls. That's not quite enough. We can always make up a little bit more. I've got some cold water. I'm going to just pour a little bit in. Just put a little in because you can always add more. But if you make it too runny, then that's not good. We're looking for the plaster to be like thick cream, no lumps, nice and smooth, no powder in there. And then because we're going to use that as a base for our crystals to grow on, I'm going to add a little bit of alum into the mix. So a few alum crystals, because I want those to be in there to form seed crystals where the crystals that you'll actually see in the geode will grow. When I'm sure it's all smooth and creamy, I'm going to spread it around in my eggshell, all the way up to the edges, making sure that I cover all the inside of the eggshell. And then just in case our seed crystals are buried, I'm going to add just a little bit extra alum. And I'm going to sprinkle that in form a basis for the crystals to grow on later and then I'm going to leave that set it aside for the crystals to grow and I'm going to do my second eggshell you find that after a few minutes the plaster of Paris does start to set so you do need to re work reasonably quickly at this stage here so again I am making sure it goes all the way up to the edge making sure there's no gaps off any loose pieces and again I'm just going to put in a tiny bit of alum, sprinkle a little bit in to provide a basis for my alum crystals to grow later on. And then I'm going to set that aside to completely set, throw away the paper cup. So it will probably take several hours to completely set hard I usually like to leave them overnight to be really certain that it's completely solid. So here's some that I made earlier. Four here. I'm going to choose two that I'm going to use for my geode bases that I'm going to make. Uh, I like the shape of that one and that one I think so I'm going to use those two. So what I need to do now is make up some alum solution which is what's going to form the crystals in the geode. So to do this, I need a water bath. I'm going to use this bowl 
and I'm going to pour in some warm water from the kettle. I might need an adult to help with this bit. A bit hot water. It doesn't need to be boiling water, just warm water. And I'm going to make my saturated solution in this paper cup, but I'm going to do it in the water bath. And the reason for that is we want our saturated solution to be warm. So I'm going to put in about a tablespoonful of alum. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of warm water, just enough to cover it. I'm trying to make enough saturated solution to completely cover one of the eggshells when I place it in a paper cup. And now I'm stirring to make sure that the alum is dissolving. The reason I'm doing it in the water bath is because I want the alum solution to stay warm all the time I'm preparing it. And because I've only got a very small volume here, it will cool down quite quickly if I don't have it in the warm water. So I'm trying to make sure that I've got a saturated solution. That means no more alum can dissolve. So to make sure it's saturated, I'm doing lots of stirring. And I'm also checking to see if there's any alum left at the bottom of the solution. Yes, there's lots. I'm going to put in a tiny bit more water because I want to make sure I've got a sufficient volume to cover the eggshell. So it's really important to take your time doing this, not rush, because if the solution isn't saturated, very unlikely to grow alum crystals in your geode. Now it looks like I might have added a little bit too much water there and all the alum has dissolved. So now I'm going to have to put a bit more alum in to make sure I've got a saturated solution. And I'm going to stir it again. checking at the bottom of the cup is there any solid there if there's solid still there then it means the solution is saturated no more alum will dissolve yes there's a few alum crystals still left at the bottom so that's good It's nice and warm so I'll just take it out of the water bath I'm going to get a new cup I'm going to place in there my eggshell that I'm going to use to grow crystals and I'm just going to pour over the alum solution so it's completely covered and then I'm going to set that aside and let that cool down as it cools down hopefully the alum will no longer be able to dissolve because the solution is colder now. It doesn't dissolve as well in a cold solution as in a hot solution. And then that means the alum crystals will no longer be in solution. They will have to go somewhere and they will attach to the seed crystals that you put on the surface of your, um, your eggshell on top of the plaster of Paris. And then the crystals will grow on there. I've got a second eggshell here and I've decided I'm going to make a coloured geode for that one. So I need to make more saturated solution. So I'm going to use another spoonful of alum, a tablespoonful. And I'm going to stir that really well. While it's dissolving, put in a tiny bit of red dye because that will make my geo look a little bit more interesting. I'm stirring that and I can tell it's not a saturated solution because there's no crystals left at the bottom so I have to add a bit more alum. Right, now I can hear the crystals crunching on the bottom and if I pick up the spoon I can see there's a few crystals on the bottom. If your alum is a fine powder, it will dissolve more quickly. If the alum you've got is slightly bigger crystals, it will take a little bit longer to dissolve. So just make sure you take your time. So 
right. I'm going to get another cup, put my eggshell in, my prepared eggshell with a plaster of Paris, and I'm going to pour over the alum solution with the dye. And if I just leave it like that, it will be interesting but the dye won't be on the outside and I would like mine to look like this with a red outside as well so I need to make a little bit more so that I've got enough dye to go outside so let's just add a drop of water to that and we'll just continue to make a little bit more saturated solution yes it's still got crystals at the bottom that's good pour that on top as well Okay, now the dye has spilled over onto the outside because I do want to colour the outside of the eggshell as well. So I'm going to set those both aside for the crystals to grow. And again, it's good to leave it overnight or possibly longer if you prefer. While the crystals are growing, don't interfere with it. Don't poke at it don't stir it just leave it and let the crystals grow and then hopefully after a few days or after overnight you will have something that looks like this any crystals that are on the outside you just brush them off and hopefully you can see some beautiful sparkly alum crystals here's my one that I did in red dye the crystals themselves don't take up the dye but the dye soaks into the eggshell and a little bit into the plaster and it makes it look um, makes the colourless alum crystals show up quite nicely. You can also just try growing your own crystals at home. So two things that you might want to try are salt and sugar. And you can try making warm saturated solutions of salt and sugar in just the same way as we did with the alum. But then instead of putting an eggshell in there, you could just leave the solution and crystals should form although it takes quite a long time for the sugar crystals to grow good luck with growing your crystals i hope you enjoy this activity